Where does it go? Where does it stop? Watch for the sign of the lollipop. Playground stop. Girls and boys come out to play. Let's explore in the forest today. Dressing up today. Hello. I know Sally. Hello, what about this? There. What do you think of that? You don't like it? Oh, I suppose it is a bit big for you. I know. What about this glittery bow tie? Maybe that's more your style. What do you think? You like that? Oh, and, and the hat as well. Thank you, me girl. Thank you. Oh, yes. There you are. Look at that. Do you like that, Sally? <laughs> Have you found anything interesting? Oh, what's that? Gosh, that's nice. A ballerina suit and lovely crown. Well, while we decide what to dress up as, you can see what Dave's up to today. Come along. Oh, hello there. Well, today we're going exploring at a nature trail. Now, most towns and cities have a place like this where nature is left alone to see what happens to it and people have to stay on the paths so that they don't spoil anything. This nature trail is called the Gunnersbury Triangle and it's in London. It's a small patch of land between two busy railway lines and a factory. Let's have a look and see what we can find. Come along then, come along. <laughs> hey, oh, take a look at this plant here. Come on. Now this plant is called a teasel. And look, it traps water in its leaves and some animals live in it. Take a look, go on. Ladybug. Yeah, that's it. Not too closely, because you might get wet. A spider! Where, where? Down there! Ooh! Lion, tiger, Oh, take a look at this. Come here, come here. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. It's a snail on a horseradish leaf. You see, you just have to look. Pick up a leaf and there's usually something going on. OK, who's ready to go into the jungle? Me! Oh, lovely. Is there anybody who's afraid of anything at all? No! Oh, well, listen, I've got a little bit of an admission to make, actually, to tell you the truth. I get very bothered when I see wood lice. So if you see any wood lice, right, don't tell me you've seen it. Oh, good. Let's go hunting for wood lice then. No, none of that. Anyway, listen, is everybody ready to go? Yeah! Right, let's go into the jungle. Quick, away you go. Last one in, there's a rotten egg. Yes! Yes! Through. Take a look at these shoots here growing up here like this. This must mean that the roots are still all right. And you see that ivy over there? Yeah. Right, well that grows up around the trees and the birds use that to nest in and to hide away from things. Woo! <laughs> Hello there, Chester. Hello, Dave. Here, Dave. Why are some of these leaves really light green and some are dark green? Ah, well, if you take a look, Chester, here we go. Now, see these ones that have grown here? These ones are the new ones. They've only grown this year. Oh, come on, have a close look. Yeah, they're light green, and these ones are dark green. Oh, great. Yeah, still no sign of the old wood lice, though. <laughs> Chester. Ooh, look at the colours on that butterfly. Hey, 
there's some cuckoo spit. Well, it's not actually cuckoo spit, but there's a little bug who lives inside it. Just mind yourselves a moment. Here we go. Right, I'm going to grab a piece of this and... Whoa, it's heavy. Oh, what? <laughs> oh! Oh, look, oh, look! I've oh, it's wood... Like there's wood lice! Oh, there's wood lice in there! Oh, dear. Well, the reason why the wood lice are here is because, well, it's damp and it's very cool and it's also very safe as well. Take a look at this. This is the swamp, and in this one, see this stuff here, this stuff growing here. This is called horsetails, and it's actually very old. In fact, it's as old as the dinosaurs. This sort of stuff. So come along. Let's see if there's anything else that we can take a look at. Come on. Let's see what's through here. Oh, hey now. Oh, this is more like it. Look at this. <laughs> right, come on, everyone. Let's go pond dipping. Yeah. Oh look, there's a more hen in the bulrushes with a chick. Nice bit of uh, pond dipping going on. Let's have a look at this. Here we go. Oh, oh! <laughs> now when you do stuff like this, you've got to be careful not to stretch out too far. Oh, I haven't got much there. Oh well. Oh look, someone's got something that moves in there. There you are. One baby newt. Oops. Don't stretch out too far, though. No, that way. We what have you found? Dino, dino. No, get out of here, you found this. Where? Yeah. Oh, let's have a. Oh, I know what sort of snail that is. That's called a ram's horn snail, that is. And it lives, it lives in ponds. Just like this one. So there you go. Well done. That's excellent, that. decided to dress up as some of the small animals you might see on that nature trail. I think we'll try and guess what everyone's being. OK, Teresa, off you go first. Oh, now let's have a look. She's got beautiful coloured wings. What do you think she is? A butterfly. A butterfly, that's right. OK, Sarah, you're next. Oh, now, look at that lovely thick brush-like tail. Pointy ears, pointy nose. What's Sarah? A fox, yes. And who's next? Off you go, Brian. Let's see what Brian is. Oh, now that's easy. Lovely black flappy wings and big yellow feet. What's he? A blackbird. A blackbird, that's right. All right, Miguel. Let's see what Miguel is. Boing, 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 boing. Well, that's easy, isn't it? A rabbit. A rabbit, that's right. OK, off you go, Martin. Oh, now, that's a bit more tricky. What's Martin? A snail. A snail, that's right, sliming very slowly across the playground. See, he's got his house on his back. Off you go, James. Oh, now, what's this? Scuttling across the playground. Long grey tail. What's James? A mouse. A mouse, that's right. <laughs> Great. The playground's full of wildlife. We've got a snail, a mouse. A butterfly, a fox, a rabbit, and a blackbird. Yeah. What's that, Sally? <laughs> yes, of course. We've got a dog as well. And I just thought of something else you might see or hear on a nature trail. 
a splodge of paint. Ooh. What will this shape make? Have you any idea? Watch very closely. It'll all become clear. A squiggle. A wiggle. A wing. It's a bee. Number one. Two. Fuzzy bees, did you count them? And the best place to find bees are on flowers, like these. Oh, get up, bee! Oh, get up! Oh, well. We got back okay and we brought with us all oh, things like these, leaves and twigs and even some tree rubbings like this. And why? Well, because the children are making pictures out of them. Have a look. Hey. Yeah, because there's glue on Oh yeah, there's glue under those oh, leaves, aren't there? What, what are you doing now there, Levi? What are you doing? Sticking this piece yeah. on here. Yeah? That. That's it. Give it a good press. Oh, you're yeah. doing green dots. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, why are you doing the green dots? Why are you doing it like that? It is from the swamp. It is inside the swamp. Oh yes. Yeah. So how are you two getting on? You all right? Yes. What are you doing, Krisha? Sticking some leaves. Sticking some leaves? Oh, that sounds good. Can I watch? Yes. All right, then. You've been very careful, isn't she? Dave, I wonder what Lucy's up to. Oh, I think I'll ask her. Yeah, go on, then. Lucy, what are you doing? I'm sticking. Oh, you're sticking as well? Oh, that's excellent. Oh, look. Chris is getting some more glue. And she's going to stick it on the leaves. a bit big, isn't he, Dave? <laughs> yes, just that he most certainly is. Anyway, what did you like best about today? Oh, I definitely liked the wood lice. They were great, they were. Oh, please. Well, apart from those, I had a really great day today. Do you know, it's really surprising what you can find if you look really closely. If you've got a little bit of garden like this, or the next time you go walking in the park, you have a really close look and see what's going on. Yeah, let's go. about things you might see on a nature trail, like worms. And you can sign worms like this, wiggly, wiggly with your finger. Or flowers. And the sign for flowers is like this. Hold the flower in your hand and smell it. See if you can spot them. Lift up a stone and you might find a frog. Who knows what's hiding under that log? Dig up the earth and under the ground, beetles and worms will be crawling around. Tiny flowers in a hedgerow and birds up in a tree. There's plenty of life for those who can see. 
I found some little creatures that can dance. Why don't you join in? Creatures and I have made up a new game, haven't we? Yeah! And here's how you play it. We've got pictures of all our animals on the spinner wheel, and wherever the pointer stops, that animal can move one place along the playground nature trail. Right, let's give it a spin and see who's going to be first. And it's the mouse. Okay, James, off you go. Eek, eek. Now, who's going to be next? It's the snail. Off you go, Martin the snail. Ooh. Oh, now we've got the rabbit. So Miguel the rabbit hops off. Oh, and who's next? It's the bird. Off you go, Brian the blackbird. Just Flying just along, just the two girls left now. Let's see. Oh, the rabbit. The rabbit can move to the second one. So Miguel moves into the ball pond. See, oh, and now the blackbird can move to the second one as well. Oh, it's still up. And now the mouse can move to the second one. And the butterfly and the fox still haven't got going, have you? Oh, and off goes the fox. Slinking cunningly over the nature trail. Oh, and the fox again. The fox can move to number two. And the poor old butterfly still hasn't fluttered off. Oh, and off you go. So the butterfly at last can flutter off. And who's next? It's the butterfly again. Quick, butterfly, you can go to number two as well. Everyone's in number two. But the butterfly can go through number two and on to number three. In you go, into the ball pond. And now through to the third one. That's it. And it looks like Teresa, our butterfly, is the winner. The last one to start and the first one to finish. Oh, there's the bus bell. Time for us to go. But we'll see you back again in the playground next week. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.